What's up guys? Jumping on into part two of group scratch. Ticket six through eleven. Ticket number six is for Belinda Lopez. Parts uh part one only produced two winners out of six tickets for a total of twenty dollars. They're both break evens. Hopefully we can start doing better than that. The book must heat up a little bit at some time. And, um, 8.35, 15, 21, 12. <laughs> Last time, which is the only other time we did a book of these, Belinda got a winner. Got another winner. Got another winner. Last time we did a book of these, it really heated up at, towards the end. Got another winner, four of them. I don't know that I've seen this before. I don't know that I've seen this before, ma'am. I know that Franklin's Fortune, there's another winner. Franklin's Fortune does like to throw El Cheapo prizes under there, but I've usually only had like two matches, so... Another one. We got six matches. Wow. Interesting. Could this be the big one? What this gonna be? Oh my god. Fifty. Ow. Oh. Shit on me here. I think you're gonna have a hundred dollar winner. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Where's the other one? One hundred. H. N. Just looking for the U because U hit a nice one. Actually, I hit a nice one, but I hit it for you because it's your money. Yes, ma'am. H-U-N. Sweet. Mrs. Lopez. Or Ms. Lopez. Or Miss Lopez. $100 winner. <laughs> On ticket number 006 of Franklin's Fortunes. Very, very nice. Probably not watching the video, but ticket number oh sounds for relic digger. If you have any sense, you're not up this early if you don't have to be on Sunday morning watching a video, but you're gonna wake up uh, to a very nice surprise. Thirty-one, twenty-two, thirty-six, fifteen, and twenty-one. Let's keep it going. Hopefully we're going to have a good book now. We have 120 bucks back. And I was just sitting there talking about how good the end of the book was on the last one. pretty cool <laughs> I've hit a uh, hundred dollars the past two group scratches hit one for um, CJGA scratcher on a uh, ticket from uh, Georgia last Sunday in the group book so it's been exactly a week since we've done one Ticket number 008 for Sean O'Neill. Good to see you back in. Uh, 
right, 9, 4, 16, 27, and 2. Very odd that uh, I would scratch off a hundred dollar winner for someone from Georgia on a Georgia book that I done in South Carolina, but that's how it goes. No winner there. That's how it goes. I actually did very well on <laughs> CJGA Scratchers book. Friday night, Saturday morning. This is for uh, this is for Blenda also. She got numbers nine and ten. She went ham in this book. Got four spots and it paid off. Let's see if you can get another one. Yeah, I had three spots. I won fifty five dollars back on that ticket. Eight, nineteen, twelve, eighteen, and two. The um, Winter Green ticket from Georgia, the Christmas $10 ticket, the bling bling one. You just get like a bow on there. No, you get a Christmas tree and you win. You get a bow, you win them all. Like, numbers mean nothing on that game. Like, it's really, really simple. When you're doing a group scratch of it, it goes quick. Another winner. Ten bucks. Okay. Well, you put in forty and you got back a hundred and ten so far. <laughs> That's uh, <coughs> a pretty good day at the office. Number ten is yours as well. Two, nine, fourteen, twenty nine, and twenty three. I hope South Carolina never comes out with another card. It scratches as horrible as this one does. The only other one that's anywhere close is that uh, ten dollar Mighty Jumbo Bucks. That thing's tough, also. This one is way worse than that. The new uh, ticket, the My Million Dollar Series, those things, they come they come off like butter. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a ticket security thing or what it is. But, I mean, you know, that was a loser. If you want to, heck, you want to try to compromise the tickets, you can compromise any of them, you know? Iron. They could. So I don't know why they feel the need to do that. It's very annoying. Uh, ticket number 11 is for KRPH. Good luck. Thirty-eight, twelve, thirty, thirteen, and thirty-five. I hope the drama that Scratch King was referring to in a video he did yesterday morning early was uh, is over with now. I did go back and watch those videos that they were talking about, the creepy ones. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, if you follow Scratch King, I'm talking about this one chick making some creepy videos uh, about somebody else, and they were rather creepy, I will say that. It's like some YouTube and Facebook messages popping up on there with some weird music. And it's like, you know, I was a loser. I'm like, you know, let's just grow up. Why can't we all just get along? 
you know, and the bad thing about it was the chick that did the videos, she had some mad editing skills, uh, putting the music in there, putting the, uh, putting the graphics in there with the videos. It was great editing skills. I wish I could do that. Moreover, like, I wish I had time to do that because I don't in between work and, uh, kids and all that stuff. I, I wouldn't have time to do it anyway like I would want to, but I, I don't even have a clue how to in the first place. It's pretty cool. I could probably get more views on my videos. If I felt like that if I had something I could do the opening like Donna Fellow was with the but you know I can't do that. But anyway she it's like it's like a criminal, you know, they they say criminals have some of the best minds in the country. They have some of the best minds in the country, but you know, they don't put them to use doing good shit. They put them to use doing bad shit. It's not good. Criminals could probably come up with a cure for cancer. They could probably come up with a cure for AIDS. Any other kind of disease that anyone thinks is 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 un, uh, untrouble. Probably could. They could probably come up with uh, with with solutions to solve a lot of a lot of problems. But uh, they want to put their uh, good uh, brainiac skills to use doing dumb stuff. Just like this one wants to put her uh, sweet editing skills to use making weird, psychotic, shitty videos. That's, that's not right. Don't do that. <laughs> and don't you dare get on here commenting on my group scratches because I'll kick you off. No, I'm just kidding. I won't. I'll just look at it and laugh and go on. All right, guys. Scratching Kentucky and I saying... P -p -p Peace out, and we will see you on part number three.